Hi, my name is Chris Kovach, and I'm the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynabox. Today, I want to quickly tell you how you can record your voice or the voice of your loved one to a button within the Compass software rather than having synthesized voice speak the message for you. This is very helpful whenever a customer needs more auditory feedback or to recognize the voice uh, that is speaking for them to help them engage a little bit better or to help personalize the equipment even more. So what I've done is I am on the navbar page set and I am in quick fires, I'm sorry, I am in quick phrases under the my phrases section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the three bars in the upper corner to take me into modification mode. I will then select the button that I'd like to modify. And you'll see right now the label is blank, the message is blank, the symbol is blank, and there is a default action of speak message in the actions box. We're going to change these four options right here to get what we want. Since we're coming up on Super Bowl Sunday in a few weeks, I'm going to ask the question about the Super Bowl. So I want to I want to label my button Super Bowl. Now I want to select a new picture of either a Super Bowl or I could put in pictures for the football and pick something appropriate for uh, for that button. We'll just select this one with the stadium. So now I have Super Bowl on my button. I have a picture of a stadium and a football on my button. And what I want to do is I want to change the action. So I don't want it to speak the message of Super Bowl when I push the button. What I want it to do is allow me to record my voice onto that button to ask if you're going to watch the Super Bowl. So I'm going to click into my actions box. And it's going to bring me into my script editor. What I need to do here is make sure that speak message is highlighted and I want to hit the red trash can to remove that from the actions. Next, I want to go into my search bar and I want to look up the word play. Now this will give me any action within the system that has the word play involved in it. So what I want to do is I want to play a sound. Now as soon as I click that you'll see it grays out the background but I have play sound in the background with sound ID in a yellowish orange color. But what's lit up is it allows me to browse the system for any previously recorded uh, voices or downloads that we may have on the unit or to record a new uh, recording for this button individually. That's what we're going to do here is just do a record new. So whenever I'm ready to record, I will hit the record button, I'll speak into the microphone on the device, and then I'll hit stop. Are you watching the Super Bowl? And now I can listen to see how that sounds. Are you watching the Super Bowl? That sounds okay to me, so we're going to use that. I'll click OK, and you'll see that where my yellow text was before is now green with my recording number, which means it's successfully applied. I'll hit done. And if that's all the changes I want to make to this button, I'll hit the green checkbox or click anywhere outside of these options to save. And now when I select the button, are you watching the Super Bowl? You hear my voice rather than the synthesized voice on the device. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks and have a great day.